positively sure crap aficionados are going to hold this one against me because the joys of eating crab is in the claw, the clackle and all. However, if you want to enjoy a finger food in the crab format where you just pick it up and laze around over the weekend or enjoy it either in an appetizer form or just pair it with a salad and have it as a main course. These succulent, moist and juiciest of crab cakes are meant for you. The sharp overtones of crab meat coming together, rather pairing beautifully along with the leeks, the ginger, the garlic and not forgetting the heat that the green chilli brings to this entire dish is by far superlative. Let's get to creating my version of a very simple yet moist and juiciest of crab cakes. Let's get to creating it. Crab cakes on the weekend is what sheer indulgences are made for and they go right on the top of my charts on finger food to enjoy for the weekend. To start off, I've got about 50 grams of salted butter and I'm just going to allow that to melt and create one of the most foamiest of beautiful textures in my pan out here. As the butter has melted, foam and all, in goes about 10 to 12 cloves of garlic that I've got finely minced because this is what's going to scent and accentuate the entire crab meat which though having its sharp flavours needs that additional boost that's required. About an inch and a half of ginger going right in finely minced and about four whole green chilies that I've got finely chopped, they go right in. We're just going to allow all this to scent the butter, softening slightly but at the same time flavouring the entire mix out here. While we want all these three to soften and flavour the entire mix, we do not want it to brown. However, in goes now about four leeks that I've finely shredded. I like the subtle flavours that leeks bring to this entire mix. However, you can go right ahead and use red onion as well. Allowing the leeks to soften and get one of the most luscious of greens in a large mixing bowl in goes about 800 grams of crab meat. So while I have taken canned crab meat which is readily available, you can go down the difficult route by actually getting crabs, ruining the meat out of the claw. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to do it, hence crab meat is the best option out here. That goes into this bowl. Into that bowl goes three fresh white bread slices that I've crumbed. You can go right ahead and use fresh breadcrumbs or even panko breadcrumbs. This just helps in binding the entire crab meat. Give it a light toss. To that goes in one egg just to hold everything together. A fine sprinkling of some pepper, in fact loads of it because you want the heat to come right out. And I'm using some celery salt just to accentuate it. You can go right ahead and use any normal salt. So with all this going right in and scenting the entire mix, I'm creating a large batch of this because I actually want to reserve a little bit and create one of those most easiest of bakes to do for a Sunday brunch. So this mixture holds weight twice, once in the crab cakes and the other in just putting it into a tray, putting a mash on top and create one of those most single pot Sunday brunch dishes. With the leeks softened, I'm just going to switch off the flame, allow it to cool and then add it to that. But in the meantime, this is the trick that keeps the crab meat moist. So in goes about two and a half to three tablespoons of egg-based mayonnaise and that just helps in binding everything together. The rest we're going to use to create one of the most famous of sharpest of wasabi dips. While I've reserved one fourth batch for my Sunday crab bake. In goes the leek mixture. I've allowed it to cool a little bit so that it blends well with the entire stuffing. And an overload of freshness coming together through parsley. So I've got about four tablespoons of finely chopped flat leaf parsley. 
and we're just going to mix everything together. Gently ensure everything mixes well so that it's well suspended into this entire mix. And comes the slightly messy part of shaping these crab cakes. For me, crab cakes always come together in perfect harmony with the spice blend coming through the freshness appeal. However, you can go right ahead at this stage and add some madras curry powder to accentuate this and just give it that additional tinge. So you have taken about 50 grams of the entire mix and we're just going to shape them into these glorious crab cakes. Not more than just two morsels and this is what it should be. Sixteen crab cakes ready, four per person for a family of four. Now comes the fun part of grilling them. So into my pan I've got about 15 ml of olive oil because I just want the crab cakes to grill, get that perfect golden brown color and at the same time have a crunch on the outside. Allow this to swizzle nicely and get nice and hot and in this goes. Ensure the oil is nice and hot and just place the crab cakes, leaving about a centimeter gap within each of them. You can either grill this all in one batch or enjoy grilling them in two batches. Ensure the oil swizzles nicely so that everything gets that perfect char that's required and allow it to grill for a minute on aside or just go right ahead for that additional crunch and go two minutes on each side. I've given it an additional minute out here, so three minutes on the side just so that it gets that perfect golden crunch. And we are going to now flip it, go as gentle as possible and give it one of those most beautiful of flips. Flipping these over, I'm just going to allow them to cook on the lowest possible flame so that they grill to perfection. About four to five minutes so that the flavors merge in, coming out sharp, strong and pronounced. In the meantime, let's get to creating the perfect dip to go along with it. So here I've got a wasabi mayo which I've got from a store and I'm just going to add about 30 ml of it. However, I feel it has too sharp a green color, but at the same time, not the zing that's required. In goes about 60 ml of mayo to that, just to ensure it creams really well. And the sharpness comes through this wasabi puree. So about nearly a teaspoon of it. And we can handle this heat, but if you can't, it's best advisable to go very, very limited. A slight dash of some freshly milled pepper and just a fine sprinkle of some sea salt. All we are going to do now is emulsify this and allow it to blend to get that subtle green color yet very very sharp in its flavors. This is the perfect dip that pairs really well with the crab cakes. It just balances out the sharp overtones that the crab cakes have. So with this done, I'm just going to put it into my dip bowl and chill it till we plate the crab cakes. With my crab cakes ready, all we need to do now is plate it. So just going to switch off the flame and plate these glorious babies. Now here we have it, these gorgeous crab cakes pair beautifully along with the wasabi mayo. Sharp overtones of the crab complementing each other with the ginger, the garlic and the heat that the green chili brings. This is a perfect weekend snack to enjoy a movie or it goes really well as an appetizer as well. I hope you enjoyed creating this glorious baby with me. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button and as I always say, don't forget to subscribe.